Mech Dizzle Gaming coming at you. Thank you so much for stopping by, and I hope you're doing really well today. So the GTA community finally got the news that the next installment in the GTA series is well under development, as well as the release date for the upcoming enhanced and expanded version of GTA 5. What a cash grab. In today's video, I'd like to discuss a couple reasons why the next installment of GTA may suck. Now GTA 6, or whatever Rockstar considers the next installment of the GTA series to be, may be amazing and may be the most technologically advanced game we've ever played. Or it might be a transactional, miserable cash grab. Or alternatively, it might be somewhere in the middle. Let's talk about it. Through the video, as we're talking about the next installment of the GTA series, I am going to reference it at GTA 6. Although that has not been confirmed, I think we have a pretty good suspicion that is the next installment in the GTA series. Reason number one that GTA 6 might suck? NFTs. At this point, you may be familiar with NFTs. In short, it uses blockchain technology that allows you to have digital ownership of items. You can see who owned it before, you can see who owned it afterwards, and you can sell it to people. Oh, and you have to know cryptocurrency too, which is annoying. A number of companies are in the early stages of experimentation with NFTs and gaming with varying degrees of success, with a number of card games doing it for a while, but not really referencing it being called NFTs, to Ubisoft launching their Quartz Marketplace with a Ghost Recon Breakpoint where you can buy guns that have a serial number embedded. There's a record that you own that gun and whoever owned it before you, you can sell it. It's kind of bullshit actually. And it's all about greedy companies that want to take your money for transaction fees for this bullshit. This is the awful reality of the transition that we've seen in gaming history going from DLC to loot boxes to battle passes and now NFTs. By the time GTA 6 launches, expect NFTs to be in full swing by a number of different companies. The thing is though, they will not call them NFTs, they're going to try to avoid that language as much as possible. Strauss Ziploc, the CEO of Take-Two, is very interested in NFTs and how they could be implemented within their business, which is absolutely horrible. What this might mean for GTA 6, and it doesn't even mean just online, it might mean within story mode, you can no longer just get a DLC to get a weapon or a type of variant. If you want something specific, you might have to pay so much money to someone in order to get this, while the companies get a whole lot of transaction fees for this. I think it's fair to say that the majority of the gaming community is not behind NFTs, and I'm included in that. I think it's garbage. The unfortunate thing is a really cool way to use this technology would be allow us to have digital ownership of the digital games we have to give us the ability to sell a digital game to like a friend if we're finished with it. That would be cool, but suddenly they're not thinking of that as a priority, are they? Reason number two is quality. Sounds like an odd thing to say, Rockstar should have super high quality games, like the best, right? If you look at their most recent release, the Definitive and Defective Edition of the GTA Trilogy, you may say, hey, Grove Street Games was responsible for that. Ultimately, as a publisher, Rockstar is responsible for that, they're responsible for their IP, and they are responsible for the quality issues. And the next one upcoming is the Expanded and Enhanced Edition, which has some normal perks that you would expect on the next-gen consoles, but again, this is a major cash grab, and the amount of quality that you're getting for it doesn't equate to the cost of it. Kind of a dick move to ask us to pay for a game with some extra perks that we already own. And Rockstar has also shown they have trouble managing multiple priorities with quality. This includes the way they're managing Red Dead Online from their communication initially and their lack of communication now. With the recent track record of various studios releasing games in unfinished states being a bit of a trend, why should we think GTA 6 might be any different? So I don't think it's unreasonable for one to question the quality of Rockstar's next big game. And the next reason GTA 6 might suck is that the leadership of Rockstar is not the same as it was for the majority of their history. I understand it takes a whole lot of people to make a game, but it takes some real supreme creative direction, and I don't know if they're going to get that. And a large part of the leadership and creative direction that drove GTA 5, GTA Online, and Red Dead Redemption 2 and Red Dead Online are now gone. And that's not even mentioning all their earlier titles. The impact of Leslie Benzies and Dan Hauser leaving Rockstar, respectively at different times, has a huge impact, and it's really shown in the release of the Definitive and Defective Edition. That's what I think. You let me know in the comments below. So those are the three reasons that I think GTA 6 might suck. What do you think? Do you think it's going to suck? Do you think it's going to be good? Do you think it's going to be somewhere in the middle? I'm super interested to hear your comments below. Myself, I love GTA 5 Story Mode and I'm really interested to see what GTA 6 brings, but I am skeptical as well. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. If you're new here, welcome and subscribe to keep up to date on Rockstar Gaming News, live streams, tips, tricks, all that good stuff. Are we going to get the Rockstar of old and the Rockstar we expect or some kind of Frankenstein money-grabbing monster that is sort of indicative of what the company is now? Well, that's all all the time we have for today. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in the next video or live stream.